Yo, what's up guys, it's Rui here, and recently I've been playing a lot of Fantasy Star Online 2 on the NA release, and for some reason, whenever I look at this game, I see this weird contrast filter over it, and then I remember, hey, there's a fucking reshade out there that we're actually able to use, but the question really was, can I use this on NA, and would I also be able to make the game look better than it already does? On top of that, you know, it's Microsoft Store, so I didn't know if there would be any issues with me using a reshade. However, so far it's been five days later, and I have not had any issues or performance issues so far. So without further ado, let's go ahead and get you set up with Reshade and let's also teach you how to apply the preset that I've created. So obviously the first step is to install Reshade. So go ahead and open up your internet browser and type in Reshade. Link to the site will be in the description as well. After that, you're going to go ahead and click on the first link. It should have the URL of reshade.me. Once there, you're going to go ahead and click that purple download button. Then it's going to bring you down to another download button. Go ahead and click that. As usual, wait for the download process, save the file wherever you need to save it. Once done, you're going to go ahead and open up the exe file. It should say click here to select a game and manage its reshade installation. And if you haven't guessed it, we're going to click that. It should start searching for games you actually have installed, so I'd recommend you just wait for it to find games that you have installed. Fun fact, I can't find it in this little select gamer application area, so if you're like me, I'd recommend going ahead and clicking on browse and then finding your folder manually. Mine's on E drive, it could be somewhere else for you. Once you're inside your folder, you're gonna go ahead and select the PSO2.exe. Now I know there's five EXEs here, but I only said click PSO2.exe. So if you screw up, that's not my fault. Now it should ask you, which rendering API does PSO2 use? We're going to be selecting Direct3D9. Now once you do this, it's going to ask you which packages would you like to install. Now for me, I actually selected every single package except for the one at the very bottom. The one at the very bottom says to only select this one if you're going to be using old presets. I created my preset from scratch, so you guys have no reason to use this one. And the reason I selected all of them is so I have a lot of plugins to my disposal. And if you're one of those people who may edit a preset in the future, this would be perfect for you. You can never have too many presets, you know what I'm saying? So after check marking all of them, except for the last one, go ahead and click on OK. From there, it should ask you to select this very specific file that you would like to install. All. They should all be check marked. Just go ahead and click on OK. Then OK. Then OK. Then OK. Then OK. And then OK. OK. Once you're done pressing OK for 13 years, you should see Reshade Setup was successful. Now we can move on to installing the preset. Now that you successfully installed Reshade, there's one extra step you're going to have to do, and that is installing my preset. What you're going to do is go down in the description of this video and there will be a link there to the Google Drive. The Google Drive should say hero reshade.any. Go ahead and click on download. Now I promise there's no virus or anything and if you don't believe me, well, there's no virus or anything so I can't really help you there. So after installing that any file, you're going to go ahead and open up your PSO2 folder again. Mine is in the E drive and you're literally just going to drag the file that you downloaded into your PSO2 bin folder literally as simple as one two and three now we're not out of the woods yet we do have to make sure everything is working in pso2 i'm just saying that for warning reasons i'm pretty sure it's working like you don't really have to worry about it but i just wanted to say it anyways Now that you've launched the game, you should see something that says Reshade is now installed successfully. Please press home to start the tutorial. Basically, it just runs you through the Reshade and gives you kind of a rundown on how things work. But if you don't really care about the tutorial, you can always do it later. Just press continue or skip tutorial. After skipping the tutorial or finishing the tutorial, you end up here. Go ahead and click the drop down menu that says default and select hero reshade.any and you will officially have my settings enabled. To get rid of this huge little window here on the side, which is kind of annoying, just press home. And you now have officially installed Reshade and got my preset to work. Hopefully it worked for you and hopefully you liked the preset. I'm gonna go ahead and end this video with a nice little showcase. See you guys in the next video. Later.